Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. In today's episode, I'm going to be answering some viewer questions that submitted a question using our Google Forms. So let's get right into it. So our first question is from Ed and he has a question about, you know, why OBS is not seeing his capture device. I have the same device, AVT USB 2.0 located in device manager, but OBS doesn't display as an option. I only can see OBS virtual camera. How do I get OBS to recognize my capture device? So the first thing you got to do, I'm assuming you're using Windows, is on Windows, type in camera privacy settings and you want to allow OBS to access your camera. Once you're able to do that, go back to OBS in the settings and where you basically add your source. There you can see that AV to USB 2.0 will appear. So you, you have to first allow Windows to allow apps to access your camera. Now on the Mac side, you want to go to security and privacy under system preferences. And on the left hand side, you're going to see camera. And also if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see screen recording. Make sure that OBS is inside of those sections and also have their box checked. That way OBS will be able to access your capture device. Our next question is from Daniel. He has a question about the DigitNow video capture device. Hi, I saw your video and purchased the BR166 DigitNow and have a Mac, but I can't find the right software to download to use converter with Mac. Could you recommend what software to use for Mac? Thank you. Thank you, Daniel, for the question. And the one software I do recommend is OBS Studios. If you are using this software, you know, it could definitely help you capture and record any VHS footage or even some older types of video, as long as you're able to have a video player, like a VHS player plugged in directly to your capture device and OBS studio should be able to see that source. Now, another software that I recommend is from NCH software. It's called debut video capture and screen recorder software. I have used that on the Windows side of things. Uh, I haven't tested it out on Mac, but it also seems to work just as well as OBS Studios. And another software that you can try out is also VLC. Now for me, VLC didn't really work well when I try to capture my VHS. So definitely check out OBS Studios or debut video capture from NCH software. This question is from Taylor. I am only seeing black and white no video after downloading and starting to record my VHS player. So I'm going to tackle this in two parts. I'm going to tackle the second part of this question. So no video after downloading and starting to record my VHS player. I'm assuming that, you know, it, it's not showing up on OBS studios. So that's why you, you know, no video after downloading and starting to record my VHS player. So maybe you record it and then it's just nothing recorded. So what you want to make sure is that under Windows, you want to make sure that in camera privacy setting is that OBS is allowed to see your capture device. And on Mac, you want to make sure that under privacy and security settings, you want to make sure that the camera and screen recording options have OBS in them and the boxes are checked. So that way it will be able to see the capture device and go ahead, add them to your sources again. And this time it should appear on your, on OBS, you know, depending on what source you're using. So if it's VHS, usually it should have a blue and blue screen. Now, tackling back the first part of this question, I am only seeing black and white. So if you are, if you're able to capture the video, but it's only showing black and white, then there is something going on with something with the capture device they're using. With OBS. Now I haven't been able to replicate this problem on my end, but I've read in the OBS studios forums that, you know, there's something that it's experienced by other users. And I think I'm just assuming that this might be, you know, might be something with a capture card device that just doesn't work well with that, with OBS studios, you know, so it might be a different brand that just doesn't work well with it. So what I recommend is, you know, if you have another computer, try on another computer and see if that problem exists also on the other computer. And also 
play around with different cables, different composite cable, different S video cable, S video cables, and see if that same problem occurs on the second computer. And another thing I want you could try out is using a different software like VLC. If VLC works for you, that's great. You know, do you see, you know, black and white footage? And also try, you know, debut video capture and see if it also shows black and white footage. Now, if that's the case, you know, you've tried different software, you tried different cables, you tried a different computer, then it's definitely something with that capture device. And I would recommend that you would maybe try a different brand. So here's another question that I've been seeing a lot in our comments. My audio is out of sync. How do I fix that? So the one thing you want to do is in your audio input source, you want to go in the properties and then you're going to see like this sync offset button or section. And right there, you just type in maybe a hundred milliseconds and see if your video and audio will sync with each other. Now, normally a hundred milliseconds work for me, but it's very dependent on what type of video you're capturing and also not 100 milliseconds won't always work. So play around with the numbers and see if that works. Well, those are some of the questions I wanted to answer from some of our viewers. If you do have a question, please feel free to submit them using our Google form link in the description. And it doesn't have to be questions. It could be also comments and we will read them in future episodes. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified of new episodes. And if you do need help in capturing VHS, make sure to check out these two videos on how to use OBS to capture your VHS videos. I'll see you guys next time.